We are learning new details this morning in the case of Michael Kovrig, one of the three Canadians currently detained in China. There are multiple reports. Michael Kovrig, he's a senior advisor for Northeast Asia at the International Crisis Group. Work and of actually negotiating the details, the same kinds of details that have made previous agreements with North Korea fail, all of that has been pushed. Michael wasn't doing anything different from what our analysts do around the world day in, day out. He was meeting with Chinese officials, he was talking to them, listening to their perspective on foreign policy, and also giving them some ideas of how China could play a more effective role if it wants to prevent or resolve deadly conflict in places nearby like the Korean Peninsula or further afield like South Sudan or Zimbabwe. This unjust, arbitrary detention of Michael goes beyond Canada, it goes beyond the international crisis group. It should be of concern to anyone, a member of the business community, a diplomat, member of the academic or think tank community, that travels to China, that wants to engage with China, and that believes and advocates for engagement with China, and that sees how somebody like Michael can find himself thrown in a Chinese prison and left behind bars for over a year. This is the chilling message that China is sending the world.